All right. So on this episode of Retro, Retro Wednesdays, Wednesdays, we're taking a look at Nuts and Milk, which basically looks like the most ridiculous game I've ever seen in my life. Um, I know I don't know anything about this other than it looks like a arcade port of some sort. I don't know about this game, but I remember seeing the name and thinking that I think I bought it for maybe a hundred yen. So this is like a dollar, maybe less, maybe less. Yeah, a dollar. Okay. Because I don't know. I probably said this a million times, but in Japan, based on my experience, um, condition is really important with games. So uh, if they're if it's not in good condition, they'll just put it in kind of like a bucket, and they're all three bucks. Hmm. And uh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's. I wish and, that was like over here. There's like a lot of variance in prices. There's I don't know if they have the same resource we do. Like we have price charting, we have other things that we use, and I don't know if the game stores necessarily have that. Hmm. So anyway, you want me to start it? Uh yeah. Why not? We have all these choices. Alright, it it has like a Donkey John. Donkey John, Donkey Kong. Donkey John. I'm struggling to talk right now. I don't know what's wrong with me. Whoa. Shit. Controls are pretty good, though. I just fucked up. It looks like a cool game. I mean, it looks like it's simple enough. I guess you gotta collect all the fruit. Shoot. Alright, I'm gonna get that one last. Yeah, I think it's a good strat. Oh my god. Fail. <laughs> yo, yo, well, did you get the nuts or the milk in that situation? I had zero milk right there. You can't get me. You know, I really don't think it's fair that things respawn like that. Yeah. You do all this work to get rid of an enemy and then it just comes back. What's the effing point? Alright. At least we figured out what we're supposed to do. Now I'm getting some... Getting some nuts. My nuts are getting... Never mind. I'm not even gonna fucking go there. Get the fuck up, you I mean, it is kind of a fun game. In its simplicity. <sighs> oh my god, I was about to get really upset. And I'm getting really upset. What the fuck? Motherfucker. That's exactly what I was thinking. Fuck! game is, it's like, it's fun, it's just, it's actually way harder than it looks, like, there's a lot of craziness to it. God fucking damn it. Asshole. Alright. Where are you huh. supposed to be? I don't know, I was about to ask Maybe you the same you're thing. you're nuts. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh shit! Bonus times. This is nothing like any other Nintendo game. <laughs> it is pretty classic. Like it's like a game mixture style. of Donkey Kong and Super and Mario Brothers. I thought it was like Donkey Kong and uh, Burger Time. That's what it felt like to me a little bit. And like Bubble Bobble. I don't know. There's like a lot in this. Fuck! God damn it! <sighs> Shit whores! Like, it looks really easy to play. Like, from a distance, I'm sure everyone's like, You guys fucking suck. 
You don't even know. You don't even know what the milk, where the nuts and the milk are. But it's actually pretty. It's actually pretty tricky. How are you supposed to get up there? Oh shit. Okay. So that does not work. I thought I jumped, I pressed A when it was low, but I guess not. <sighs> Shit. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to get up there. Am I missing something? Close. I just have to jump more on the edge. You know it is weird that B and A both jump. Come on, man. I got nothing for you. <laughs> Dude. So if I jump off the edge of the brick, it doesn't work. But if I jump there, I'm too short. So what the fuck? How did that work? No idea! You can just stand underneath and jump, and you'll get it. Or that, too. BDD! <laughs> I do enjoy how you can make the bad guys, like, commit suicide. Makes me want to cry. Suicide. Oh shit. Nice. What are you supposed to be? I don't know, are you the nut? I don't know. Because the milk is your lives. Nuts and yak. This would be kind of a fun arcade game, though. I wonder what the art looks like on it. No, you son of a. Let's try game editor. Oh, that's kind of fun. Good times. Oh, let me play it now. That's kind of fun. I don't understand the point of, like, getting points for jumping over the enemy, because you can't do it, because as soon as it gets underneath you, you're done. <laughs> I don't understand, like, alright. I have a feeling you can't beat this game, and that makes me not want to really play it at all. Yeah. If there are like, is if how many rounds there really are? I'm sure there's probably like a hundred. Oh, you fucking dickhead!
This game is ported all over the place. Hmm. Like different platforms or just... Yeah. Hmm. Alright, we got 46 to go. So you can beat it. Dude, I don't understand these springs. I just do not... You need to release the jump. Like, you need to hold down jump and release at the, sw at the spring board. I think that's what you have to yeah, do. that's what it is. Oh. Well, Does it work really when you it. press it when you hit it? I tried pressing it, so let me try holding it. Nothing. I got it to work in the other level. Alright, holding it down does not do shit. He just did it to fuck with you, though. <laughs> he did! Wow, man, that was a move. Pull some shit tactos. Even knowing that you can beat this game makes me not want to play. <laughs> It's weird, because I love Atari games, and they're probably way more primitive than this, but I don't know, I find them more enjoying, enjoyable. We were actually talking about that the other day, about everyone's belief that E.T. is the worst game ever made and all that stuff. I really don't think it's that bad. I've played it before. It's fun. It's not like the best game I've ever played, but it's certainly not the worst. So many bad games. Yeah. yeah. Superman for the Atari. Any Superman game, basically. Has there been a good Superman game? Not that I know. Well, no. The arcade game. That was pretty good. Oh, yeah. That one was good. And the one for Commodore 64 is actually not that bad. It has like a level where it's like Space Harrier style, and then there's another one where you, um, you're um you on a spaceship and you gotta fly from one end to the other. It's hard, but it's fun. Now I just realized that it is kind of funny that your character looks kind of like a testicle, and the game is Nuts and Milk. His name's Milk. And the enemies that he's fighting are blue colored, like they're blue balls. The enemies that you fight in this game are called nuts. Certainly is nuts. Such bullshit. <laughs> is that the controller getting bit? I used to do that a lot. I know, I remember. Usually I don't get frustrated by Nintendo games, only Gears of War, but uh... Me. That game does make you mad. I can't wait to edit that video because it's gonna be so hilarious. So much anger. How do you jump? I don't know. I just kept pressing, pressing it randomly. It reminds me of, like the springs in Super Mario Brothers, but not as responsive. Responsive. I wonder what level 50 is like. It must be insane. I sat there and watched you, you get stuck there like a bunch of times, and I still <laughs> fucked up in 96. Shit, shit, shit. Wow, dude, tactics. Now you're a nut beast. Fucking squirrel tactics. <laughs> Not beast. Oh shit, we're in uncharted territory here. I wanna I feel like I wanna tell the people that program this game that their enemies are like they move like assholes. Squirrel 
troll tactics. It was your troll him. Wow, how did you live? I don't know. Up 93. <laughs> oh my god. I'm done, right. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> I think I got one more me and I'm done. Sorry, I hit you in the ball. I don't even care, you hit me in the nuts. Hit you in the dick tip. Hit me in the baby duct. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. I thought you, said, I thought you were going to say baby duck. Did you ever hear that thing that Michael Jackson called, um... Ejaculate duck butter? <laughs> no, I thought it was dick butter. I heard that, but I thought it was dick butter. <laughs> I don't know which one's worse, they're both really bad. Dick butter. <laughs> that makes it even worse than... How bad it is normally. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> the fuck? Middle key, middle key. <sighs> Got fucking duped. <laughs> Getting pissed. Do you imagine they release this in the United States as like the game that came with the NES? Like you would spend all this money and get this game. I'd be so fucking disappointed. I'm about to throw this fucking controller and turn this thing off. I'm done. I don't understand. Try that. Nope. It's like watching fucking paint dry. Like it hooks the edge of it and then it's like, nope, guess again. fun. <laughs> Dude! Can you try the other button? Maybe. That was the trick. Other button, press B. I don't know why you helped me. You should've been like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's B. Man, I'd be so upset if I paid sixty dollars for this game. I would. It, this is like Urban Champion haggardness. All right, final thoughts. I'm done. I'm really playing this anymore. It's done. This game is. Uh, it's it's a little fun, but not. It's not worth more than two or three bucks. I would say. Yeah. It's, the controls are okay, except for some small things, and it's simple. It is colorful. That's good. But it there's just not a whole lot to it. It just feels like an early arcade game. It just doesn't have any depth, in my opinion. Yeah. I think it's, like you said, it's it's a it's an okay game. You can tell it's like a, you know, it's a nice example of a launch title. But there's just nothing to it. It's not, I don't say, want to say I hate it, but I feel like there's just not much to say about it. And I think that it also, um, I feel like it's just deceptively difficult because of how limited it is. And, like, you can see that the way they programmed it, it was that the bad guys, the nuts, if you will, um, they follow you no matter what. And there's a pro and a con to that. And one of the cons that I learned early on was that it's really difficult to actually jump over anybody in the game. Um, because usually, as soon as you jump over them, they turn around on you. 
So that's annoying. Um, yeah, it's like a two or three dollar game. Nothing super exciting, and um, you know I think it's in that same vicinity as like Scoon as a uh, as a game for the Famicom. It's like forgettable, to be honest. I mean, it's okay, but it's just not that great. So another another thing to consider just real quick is that this is the kind of thing that exemplifies why like Super Mario Brothers was so like important because I think Mario came out in '85. Yeah. So that was one year after this, and and look at the difference. Like, Super Mario Brothers has so much more to offer than this does. Right. And so, I just wanted to point that out. It has like a story and directions and complexity that this game just inertia physics none of this really existed. Yeah. So, this is nuts and milk. Um, you know, two or three bucks, not really worth like a whole whole lot. But you know, I guess it's kind of cool to have an early sort of launch game for the Famicom. So yeah, this is uh, Nuts and Milk, and for Retro Wednesdays, uh, until next time.